Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Julie of Julie's Plans and in today's video I am going to be giving you a tour of my office. First of all, this has been a very highly requested video but I am always so nervous to show my office space because I don't feel like it is anything special or anything just particularly special but it is where I do my planning and where all of my creativity happens and I personally love it I don't feel like it's very Pinterest or or Instagram worthy but it is my planning space um so <laughs> I am going to turn the camera around and let's get the tour started so, first things first, I actually share my filming space in the loft area of our home. You actually come up the stairs and it sort of drops right into this loft area space. So there is a couch, there is a TV, all of that fun stuff. And then as you walk further back, here is my actual entire office. Now a lot of my furniture and things like that are actually completely repurposed or I've purchased used. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, but I'm going to start from this side of the room all the way over. I'll even show you guys what's in some of my drawers, which I cannot believe I'm going to do, but I thought this would be fun to take you guys along and show you. So right here, I actually have a bag from Happy Planner that um, just has a bunch of stuff in it that I had recently reviewed, and it just hasn't found a home yet. My desk is from Ikea, but I don't actually know the model of it because I purchased it on the Facebook Marketplace pre-loved obviously. Now I do have the Ikea Alex drawers. I have two of them on either side of my desk and that's where a lot of my storage takes place. So over here on this side I actually have my power sheets sitting out. It's been really helpful to have them sitting out along with a lamp from Walmart. Honestly it's just one of the most basic ones that I could find that I didn't have to worry about matching anything. So I'm gonna show you guys what is in the drawers of this um, Alex drawer, <laughs> I think is what it's called. So in the first drawer, I actually have just, honestly, it's kind of like a catch-all. There's a lot of tools that I use for planning in here, erasers, rulers, um, my painter's knife that I love using to cut washi tape, just anything I need to be able to grab really quickly. I usually have my, um, photo printer here and I keep the film in there, some white out extra cases for some other things and that's what's in that first drawer. Now in the second drawer it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of like an Erin Condren store threw up in it. There's a lot of washi tape, there's the little bands, um, more rulers, things like that. It's usually a little bit more organized but I really didn't want to sit and reorganize my entire office to film this. I just wanted to show you guys how it usually is. And the next drawer it's actually probably a little bit more organized but I have all of my notepads in here along with a bunch of the envelopes from Erin Condren that just have different stickers and things like that. I have my sunglass case, more stickers. It's These drawers are actually pretty deep. The first two aren't and then you have the bottom three that are a little bit deeper which provide you more storage space. In the next drawer it's kind of like <laughs> I call this my giveaway drawer. Um, when I plan on hosting giveaways on Instagram and things like that, I tend to keep things that are brand new in the package unopened and I store them in this drawer. It is not very organized, but this is where I keep all of those items. All right. In the, <laughs> of course, something would jump out. In the next drawer, it's kind of like my tech drawer. It has a bunch of wires and like my fuse tools some paints. I recently redid a whole bunch of my notebooks and now I have or I uncoiled and recoiled a bunch of my notebooks. So now I have several extra but I'm going to save those. I have my label maker back there. Again this is a basket with just wires and external hard drive, um, different attachments for my camera mounts and things like that. So that's why I call that my my tech drawer. Okay, so we're gonna move over to, let's go across the top of the desk. So I have the um, new Erin Condren desk organizer. Honestly, it's not very organized. It's full of things that I use quite regularly and that I was actually just using to plan. I was doing some back to school planning. So there's 
that sticker book, my clipboard, which is holding some sticker sheets. It's kind of a mess, to be quite honest, but this is real life. Like I said, I don't have an Instagram or Pinterest type office. I have some pens right here. I have this um, new gold, I cannot remember what this thing is called, but it is on my wall. <laughs> So there is that. I just have some pictures that from previous Go Wild planner conferences. And then I have these two wooden boards across my desk. And I, there's kind of a very, um, just, a, they have a great meaning. They were actually part of my friend Erin who owns the shop called Small Town Grace. She had a table at the very first Planners gone, planners gone Wild, Go Wild in New Orleans. And this was actually part of her table decor, both of them. And she was flying, I was driving, and I loved them. And they have been up in my office ever since, all these years. And I absolutely love them. And then I cannot remember, I believe this came in an Erin Condren seasonal surprise box. So I just put it on my wall. Back down to the desk, I usually just have my planner out. Here is my content planner and my life planner and more of the Erin Condren um, desk organizer here. I do have that little hourglass, which sometimes I use. Um, it's just nice to have on the desk. I love the color. And then I just have another pen holder and some of the acrylic office things from Erin Condren. And of course my computer that often misbehaves. So in the drawers of my desk, a lot of it is washi tape. Um, that's just how I chose to store it. They actually have these spice organizers. This is like, <laughs> this is like what washi dreams are made of. <laughs> but there are these spice organizers that you can get from Ikea that are actually meant to organize your bottles of spices. I actually use them to organize all or most of my Simply Gilded washi, and it goes all the way to the back of this drawer. As you can see, I have quite an obsession with Simply Gilded washi. And then I have some of my Chrissy Ann Designs washi right here. But yeah, this is basically just a giant washi drawer, and I love it because it's up and it's out of the way, and I don't have to worry about it. In the basket below under my desk, I actually keep um, printer paper, sticker paper, cardstock, things like that that I don't exactly reach for, um, like the thicker printer paper, not regular printer paper, but um, things that we don't need too much, like laminating sheets, things that I'm not using every single day. And then I kind of just threw this blanket on here to, to just to cover it all up. <laughs> I thought it looked cute that way. So over to the next drawer, I actually have just one more of the, um, let me move my camera a little bit, one more of the spice racks here with some additional washi tape. Some of it's from Simply Gilded, some is like from Cricut Paper Co., Chrissy and Designs, One Ton in a Million, just ones that I still wanted to keep close by. Now this drawer isn't quite as organized. Um, <laughs> There's like lotion in here, an extra set of wireless headphones, some post-it notes. I keep most of my pens in this drawer. Um, not very organized again, but just where I keep them. I also have this little um, storage compartment here where I just keep things that I wanna keep close to my desk, like hand, san hand sanitizer, lip gloss, hand cream, couple of hair ties, things like that that I just wanna keep close by so that if I'm really working on something, I don't have to leave my desk and those things are there. All right, so on to the next Alex drawer area. I have my printer, my silhouette portrait, which I honestly almost never use anymore. It may be something that is not gonna be a part of my office for very long. I also have my iPad Pro that I practice my lettering on and my printer that I use, um, you know, whenever we need to print things. So. <laughs> In the top part of this Alex drawer, I actually have just our regular printer paper. Um, I kind of have this little bin that just has washi samples that have either been sent to me or that I made to send to friends. I have some 3M hooks and some Velcro. Believe it or not, that comes in quite handy sometimes and they just kind of found a home in here. And then I have my ink cartridges that are used. If you are or have an account with Staples, they will actually, and I'm sure other stores do this, but Staples will actually give you store credit per ink cartridge that you turn in. So I save mine in this plastic bin so that it doesn't destroy the, you know, the part of my drawer because obviously it's white and if ink got on it, it would probably not come out very well. 
And my next drawer is probably the most functional part of my storage system here. I actually got these bins over at Michael's and I just have some very basic, and I just have some very basic um, post-it notes, all in different size that I need for planning and pre-planning. I even have black ones. Those are come in handy when you need to block something out of your planner and you don't need someone to see it. Um, I have some gold paper clips and then these are the pens that I reach for the most. And these post-its and the smaller rectangular post-its are the ones that I actually use the most for pre-planning. So those come in really handy. And like I said, this is probably the most functional and most organized area of my desk. So on to the next drawer. It's kind of like um, a sticker, I don't know. It's not storage area, but it is. Like this is my latest happy scrappy kit that's just kind of sitting in here. I haven't had a chance to really mess around with it, so it's just sitting in this drawer. And then I have just other random sheets of stickers that I keep in here that I just don't have a lot of from these particular shops or I just recently got them and they haven't had a chance to be organized and they just kind of sit in here and it just kind of works for right now so yeah that's just what I've been doing and there's also some sticky pockets that I've just kind of collected I think a bunch of these are from the planner society and those all just sit neatly right there okay and the next drawer is like where all of my extra post-it notes are like the more decorative ones and then some of the regular post-it ones right here um these are just ones that are from like Aria's Daydream. There's some from Fox and Pip in here. There's some from Simply Gilded. They're just not very um, plain, I guess you should say. They're definitely more decorated. And then I have some of my business cards just kind of sitting down here. I really couldn't think of anywhere else to put them, so that's where they ended up. And then my last drawer actually has all of my Hobonichi Weeks stuff in it. And I don't want to say all of it. It actually has some... Um, page flags there are some bookmarks here from amy tangerine and yes this is one of those um one of those print prussian weeks i have a hobonichi weeks some stickers that i was going to use for it and i honestly haven't touched my hobonichi weeks in several weeks <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this stuff, but for now, this is where it lives. Okay, so that is everything for the desk area. Next up is my Rascog cart, and that's over here. This cart is from Ikea, if you're not familiar. And I'm going to go into more detail as to what I keep on this cart in, a, in a, another video, just because there is a lot on there, but that's where this sort of lives by this window over here. And then on this shelf, I sort of put another set of the Erin Condren organizing system up here. It's just, it just really looks nice. It's also, it also photographs very well. So I just keep some note cards and gift labels over here along with a pen and some notepads, some paper mate flares, a plant that is guaranteed not to die because it is fake. Um, <laughs> And moving on down here, I actually just have some of my favorite books along here. Um, and again, this is also part of the Erin Condren organizing system. And this is actually where my older planners are stored. I thought this would be a great area to keep them. I also have my extra Erin Condren folios that I keep here. Um, normally, there's also the black and the lagoon one here, but I'm using those right now. On the next shelf, I just keep some Chrissy Ann Designs and Planner Kate stickers. I also have a couple of Happy Planner notebooks that I love having. And then on this next shelf, I actually save some of the Erin Condren Seasonal Surprise Boxes and use them for storage. That is actually where I'm keeping all of my interchangeable um, life planner covers and they just sit in there and they're easy to get in and out and they're not falling out all over the place so I just keep them in there. And honestly these two bins are just where extra stuff goes so I'm not going to pull those out right now because a lot of it I want to use for gifts and things like that later on but that's just where I keep things that just if they're nice and tucked away they're not falling out all over the place so that's where they're gonna stay so that's that entire shelf area now, for my office chair i actually use this white office chair that i found on amazon last year i really really love it i have now had it a year and maybe the only mark that i can see on it 
is actually from right here and that's because I keep hitting it on the drawer of my desk. But other than that, like the other side has no marks, no staining, and like I said, it is from Amazon. Um, I will have it linked down below in the description of this video. I absolutely love this chair. The back is very high, higher than a normal chair, so it's really, really nice and very, very supportive. All right, so that is the entire tour of my office. I hope you guys enjoy taking a closer look at where I plan and spend all of my creative time. If you guys have any questions about any of the items mentioned in this video, please feel free to ask down in the comments below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. As always, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm actually gonna give you why can I not say this word? <laughs> Let's try this again. In today's video, I am actually going to be giving you a tour. We're going to try that again.